So today we're going to go over taking out the movement on this Orient Ray 2, popping out this scratched up mineral crystal, and then we're going to put in this sapphire crystal. Okay, so first things first, uh, we're going to loosen up the case. So you're going to get yourself a tool. This is a lot easier if you actually have a, a block to hold the movement in. careful when you're doing this that you don't uh, get any dust from the case to fall into the movement. So on this movement of this Orient Ray 2, there's a little hole right, right there. Now when the stem is in, there'll be a little tab that you can see. As you pull the stem out, that tab disappears but it prevents the stem from coming out completely. Let me see if I can get that in focus. So you see that little tab, a little silver tab right there? And you'll see as I pull the stem out, that tab disappears. So in order to get this movement out, what you'll do is you'll just push down on that tab Right there, when the stem is in the in position, and don't push it down hard, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Let's try that again. So push down, and you feel there's a little bit of pushback on that tab, you push it down just slightly and it'll allow you to remove the stem. Okay. So once the stem's out, the movement, is able to come out. So you're gonna hold on to that gasket and we'll place the movement off to the side. All right, so now I have the case with the old mineral crystal still inside. I gotta get this mineral crystal out. So the way that we do that is utilizing just a simple crystal press. This is just one that I got off of, uh, off of Amazon. Now for sizing this, you want the rear polymer um, plug should be a little bit bigger than the crystal, right? So that one looks like a good size for me. All right, so now I need to put the right plug sizes onto my crystal press. I'm gonna put the watch case with that old mineral crystal on top of it. And just give a nice solid push. And it should pop right out. And then I'll actually take my old, the old crystal to size the plugs to make sure I'm getting one that will evenly press the new crystal in like so Actually, I think this one will this one should work nicely Now to do this next step, uh, I'm gonna actually put on some some rubber gloves, some latex-free gloves, so that it doesn't uh, I don't get a bunch of fingerprints on the underside of the crystal, which would be awful.
right now that we have that crystal pressed in, I'm going to gently place back inside the movement. And you'll find that as you insert the movement, it should kind of almost feel like it like clicks into place. And then I'm gonna push back in the stem. Sometimes you have to rotate the stem a little bit. It shouldn't require a lot of force to be able to get that stem back in. So it feels the gasket back in place. It's important to inspect your gasket before you put it back in. If it's a, if there's a bunch of areas that are maybe cracked or warped, um, it is going to compromise the waterproofness of your watch case. Uh, screw back on the case back. All right, guys, so this is the final finished product. The Orient Ray 2 with a domed sapphire crystal. It really steps it up. One thing uh, that should be noted, if you're really worried about uh, how it affects the water resistance with swapping out a crystal and also unscrewing and screwing back in the case back, you can take this to your local watch dealer and to have it pressure tested just to make sure that it still uh, retains retains its water waterproofness rating. So, all right.